Hi there, Deep Nod. So welcome to this week's video, which is all about adding websites to SmartRoot and how to find the correct IP addresses and domains. Don't forget to like and subscribe um, to find out what happens in the future. Blah blah blah. Um, now this is basically we have App Re Relocator, and it's really good. However, some things aren't on it. So I'm going to show you how to find out what you need to add to SmartRoot to get these things to work. Okay, so here's the dashboard that, that I'm currently on. Um, your UI might look a little bit different depending on how long it's taken this video to come out because we've got a brand new UI on the horizon, but it'll be very, very similar. So this is the app read locator and it's what you would usually use to swap um, your location between different places. So HBO Max, your know, Netflix and F1 TV, Acorn TV, all that. Okay, really cool. Um, but unfortunately, I want Screenbox because I'm a fan of horror. So we'll put in Screenbox and nothing. So let's go to Screenbox. So screenbox.com. And it says there, this title is not available in your location because I'm in the UK and Screenbox is a, a US only subscription kind of thing. But you can watch live telly as well and free films. Really cool. Okay, so. I need to get on this and I'm going to show you the method on how to actually do it. It's dead simple. Um, it's not that hard and I'll show you how. So <clears throat> the first thing we need to do is go on to the DPN tab and go to mode and just make sure we're on smart route because smart route is obviously what we're, we're going for. If I want to be 100% sure, I just put it on full route. However, I don't want to be connected to the US for all of my traffic. So put on smart route, hit apply, and then we'll move on. So tunnel, make sure that you have a tunnel to the north, to North America or whatever the streaming platform is or website is, and that you have active IPs. The next thing is we're going to go, we're going to use basically this tab here, domain config. Okay. So I've got a couple of domains here, which go through different places. The first thing we're going to do is put Screenbox, the website, onto here. Okay, so screenbox.com. Okay, select on all North America, US, and add. So you can see there it's been put in. Now we need to reload it. However, if I reload on the current tab I already have open, it's already saved cache of where I am, so it won't work. It knows where I am. If I press refresh, yep, it's not available in your location. So we're going to open an incognito tab. And what that does is it will give you the website as a brand new person. So there's no cache or cookie saved. It can't read, read anything. So screenbox.com. And again, this title is not available in your location. So screenbox have something else in the background, which is showing that we can't that base identifies where I am. So I need to stop that. So we'll close the incognito tab because it's now got the cache and cookies saved of the UK. So I'll need to open a new one anyway. And we need to find out what is being used. So if we go to the dashboard and see what's on. So we have matchpoint.tv. Okay, that looks pretty similar to a streaming platform and you can see I'm, I'm I, I am connected to matchpoint.tv it's sending a tiny amount of information and that is probably screenbox so they're using the domain name matchpoint.tv so dead simple you can either add the IP address or you can add the domain name I would probably add the domain name so go to domain config and go matchpoint.tv and again, select the tunnel, United States of America, and add. So now we have two domains that we've put on, matchpoint.tv and screenbox. So screenbox will be the website address, so the, the, the website only. But all of the streaming, all of the licensing, subscriptions will go through this, matchpoint.tv. Um, and in fact, if we go to matchpoint.tv, matchpoint it'll probably tell us exactly what it, what it, what it is. So built for everybody launch and grow your streaming business all in one place um yeah so you can see there you go look screen box screen box uh i've never heard of any of these but 
screen box is listed there. Alrighty, so we'll close that. And let's now open up another new tab. So, uh, new private window. Okay, and we'll go to screenbox.com, screenbox.com. And see what happens. Remember, it's a private browser, so we have fresh cash and cookies. And has it worked? Yes. So now you can see subscribe here is open, so I can now subscribe. And live TV is also open. So let's go to live telly. So this website is now being connected through the US. And I'll press play. What's that? Gravy. This film's called Gravy. It doesn't look very good, but... Yeah, okay, cool. So that works. Um, now, this will get you so far, okay? So, movies... I bet that's good. Um, there are some free ones. So, I'm a big fan of found footage. A lot of them are paid for so i mean you can watch that one for free if you just get an account um yeah cool all the crappy films are free all the good ones are expensive but okay um so this will get you so far so you you although this this will allow you to get on the website and it'll make you look like you're from the us um if you go to subscribe i've already got this because so, uh, monthly premium, annual premium. So, if we go to upgrade, put the information in, the problem is it will not allow you to change the country, so your card will not work. If you get a US card, then obviously you, you can probably do it. However, I tried to sub subscribe with Revolut and it wouldn't work. Um, yeah, maybe you can get a promo code which has 100% off and you buy it. I don't know. Um, but this will only allow you to access... The, the, the website, it won't sort it out so you can actually watch, like, sub, subscribe to it. Um, so, I, so I can't watch this. Shame. But this is just an example. So, we've established that we need screenbox.com to be added. And we have, and we need matchpoint.tv to be added. So, we've used that method of just looking on here. Okay. Um, and looking on here to find out what is what. You can also go to the settings, I'm oh sorry, the device and traffic, and that will tell you more, more, more information as well. Or you can go to the log. It takes a little while to load. Okay. Um, and you can go to screen box. Screen box. And you can see there, screen box. Yep, there you go. Look, matchpoint.tv. So they 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 were basically using screenbox dash screenbox dot cdn dot ak coming from matchpoint.tv. So because I've got matchpoint.tv on my smart route, all traffic, including what goes to this, right, will go through that. Um, same with that. Um, yeah. So if you wanted to, you could add that to it as well. Uh, yeah, screen box was route to US. You could even just put in dot .tv. I mean, that, that might bring stuff up as well. Yeah, so matchpoint.tv. Matchpoint.tv. You can see route to US, route to US, route to US, route to US. Yeah, pretty cool. So that is it. Um, that's how you do it. Okay, that is it. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe and use the code DEEPNOT at uh, checkout at the Deeper Shop to get an extra 5% off. Now, if you struggle with this and there's something that's not working for you but you want it, let me know um, in the comments below and I will try and find out what you need to add to the smart route on your behalf so you can then add it and you use it. Um, it's a pretty straightforward thing but some people might struggle with the whole IP address thing. But um, yeah, so thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, bye everybody. Bye-bye.